listen to me. You're sitting at home, abort it. You're watching this right now, abort it. Something happened in your life and you lost your way. And you're, you're going through life perfunctory, just on automatic pilot. You know there's more to you than sitting on that couch. You know there's more to you than giving people advice on the side. But you've been aborted. And some of you have aborted yourself. You can't get over your last failure. And you don't have people in your life that'll pull you through the matrix and say, I'm not going to let you die here. I don't understand what you're saying. I'm saying whoever you are and however you do it, the key, thank you, Jesus. Somebody here shout the key. The key. I want you to hear him. Shout the key. The key. the key. The key to your and my maturation is the ability to give God praise. I'm going to prove it to you. When Jonah was suicidal, and he was, he said, throw me overboard. It's my fault that the, the water is like this. And when they threw him overboard, God sent a great fish to catch him. He wouldn't let him die. He thought he was going to die. He's in the belly of the fish for three days. And then the last verse of, 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 of Jonah, verse set, Romans, verse 7, he says something like, uh, they that forsake lying vanities uh, forsake their own mercy. The translation is, God, uh, no matter what happens, I might as well give you glory before I die. Once he started giving God praise in the belly of the great fish, the scripture, the scripture, the scripture says, and the fish vomited Jonah out on dry land. Now, y'all got excited about the vomit, but I got excited about the dry land because when he spit him up on dry land, he spit him up right where he was supposed to go because God told Jonah, I want you to go preach to the Ninevites. And because he decided to praise on his way out, praising God on his way out brought him out of what he thought he was going to die in. And as a result, he gave God praise and God spit him out through the fish to his purpose and he went and preached in Nineveh. Well, I don't understand. I still don't get it. Well, here it is. The praise, the cherub, the sakak, that's your hedge. The reason David didn't die, even though he killed Uriah and took his wife Bathsheba, he still repented and said, God, I give you glory. The reason he didn't die and the Philistine giant couldn't even kill him when they hired the giant of Gath, he couldn't kill him because David was still giving God praise. Even at the battle, he said, the God that I serve is going to let me take off your head, you, you, you uncircumcised Philistine. The same God that gave me strength to handle the lion and a bear. Y'all don't understand. That's praise. I'm saying God, the same God that did it for me then. God, I want to thank you. I know you're going to do it for me right now. And you can't handle people like that because when people start giving God praise, they build a hedge around their life and even though you want to stop them, you can't stop them. That's why right in your house, you can jump up on your couch and say, God, I give you glory. God, I give you praise. Wait a minute. He can't be praising God. He got a cigarette on the table. He got some liquor on the table. But his praise is it's got to be greater than his proclivity. His praise has got to be greater than what he struggles in. Jonah began to give him praise and God spit him out on dry land. Job. Job gave him praise. Ten dead kids. Y'all talking about your little struggle. You ain't going through nothing. Jonah had ten children die at the same time. Job, brother, had 10 children die at the same time. He had 10 caskets laying across Zion Dominion. His wife said, why don't you just curse God and die? He's got elephantiasis. He's got skin flaking off of him. The Bible says in Job 7, he's taking a piece of broken pottery and he's scraping the ashes of his dead skin. And it's so high, the Bible said he can sit on the pile of his dead skin. It's in your Bible. And then it says, and Job grieved and worshiped. He grieved. And let me prove it to you. Let me prove it to you. God saw what was in Job. And Satan did too. He said, listen, listen, uh, you let me touch him and, and he'll curse you to your face. And God said, do what you want. He said, I can't. You got a hedge around him. 
That meant you tried to get to him before you asked God for permission. And that hedge was his praise. Lord have mercy. Every time I tried to get in there, he said, thank you, Jesus. God, I love you. And the hedge stopped the enemy from taking his life. Y'all better listen to what I'm telling you. On your worst day, on your sick day, on your depressed day, on your mad day, they didn't treat you right. Praise your way out of it and build your hedge. 